Well, things are about to get real for our nation's federal workers. As the government shut down, well, it drags on. And drags on. A closer look at what local congressmen are doing about it in tonight's Point of View with Otis Sanford. It may sound like a noble gesture that some members of Congress from Tennessee and elsewhere are refusing to take a salary during the partial government shutdown. But the real story of this debacle, quite frankly, is not about the politicians who caused it. It's about the many thousand federal workers who are starting to suffer financially because of it. Nationwide, more than 800,000 federal employees are affected by the shutdown. That includes more than 2,000 in greater Memphis alone, many of whom are on furlough while others continue to work without pay. And they are more than just numbers. They are innocent pawns caught in a political tug of war with no way to escape. They are air traffic controllers, TSA employees, FBI agents, and Treasury Department workers, including the people responsible for processing income tax refunds. They are our neighbors, close friends and acquaintances, even family members, and they don't deserve to be treated this way. With no apparent end in sight, some federal lawmakers are beginning to feel the heat, which no doubt led some of them to declare in press releases and social media statements that they will not accept a salary while the shutdown continues. They include 8th District Republican Congressman David Kostoff, which is all well and good. But noble gestures are not enough. It's time to end the political grandstanding and reopen the government. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.